Hi, welcome to this new video about YubiKey. And in this video, we will use the YubiKey at full potential with a Microsoft account using the FIDO2 path and passwordless login. So let's start immediately. In your Microsoft account, when you go to the security tab, you have an advanced security option. And with the advanced security option, you can set up some advanced security. As I show you in the previous video, I've already configured a standard two-factor authentication, but instead of using um, Yubico, uh, instead of using Microsoft Authenticator or Google Authenticator, I'm using Yubico Authenticator. So now it's asking me the code to verify my identity. I can tap my key and now I can type the code. And here I am on my security, advanced security part. As you can see, I have a recovery email account and I have my code from an authenticator app. And this is the minimum standard you should have on account. An account recovery code in case you forget the password to avoid being cut off from your account and a two-factor authentication with YubiKey if you have a YubiKey. But yeah, if you have a YubiKey, using with the YubiKey authenticator is cool, but yeah, it is really mu much more interesting to add the key with FIDO2 potential, to use the key at full potential. As you can see in your advanced security page, you can add a new way to sign in or verify. Here in the bottom, you can click, you have uh, various options you can use, and I'm gonna use use a security key. So pressing use a security key, it, it is asking me if I have a USB device or an NFC device. I'm on my workstation, so I have my YubiKey plug in my USB port. So I'm choosing USB device and I press next. And I'm presented with a warning for security key setup. So I press okay and I will press OK to continue setup. And this is asking me that login.microsoft.com wants to create a credential on your security key. So it is asking me that it want to modify my key, adding a credential. So I'm pressing OK. And if you follow my first video, you should already have set up a pin for your YubiKey. So I'm pressing my pin and press OK. And now I need to physically touch my key. and the game is done. I now need to add a name for the key and I'm calling it test. And the name is important because if you ever lost your key, if you lost access to your key, you should be able to immediately identify the key you had lost so you can go to your account and remove the, that key from the account. So I'm pressing next and got it. You can have the option to add another security key because usually you had more than one key because you have your primary key and maybe you have a backup. Now for this test, I'm going to add only a key. To understand what is the difference between using a key in this way with the FIDO2 uh, than using as a Yubico Authenticator app as you saw in the last video is you can use FIDO2 to access passwordless. So as an example, I'm going to sign in out from my profile. So it, the computer is going to sign me out and I am uh, need to log in again. Now that I'm logged out, I'm presented with the standard form of login where I can use my email and password and two-factor authentication. But if you look carefully, you see an option sign-in option in the bottom, you can press sign-in option to use other form of signing in instead of username and password. So you can choose the first option, as you see, sign in with the security key. I can choose this option and Microsoft is asking for the pin of my YubiKey. So I press my pin. Now I can touch my key and I can choose to stay signed in and I'm in without even needing to um, choose username and password. Just having the key allow me to enter in my account. And this is the main difference in using your key as a FIDO2 device because 
uh, the site Microsoft account and every account, every site that support natively FIDO2 login allows you to login only with a key. You don't need username, you don't need a password, you only need the key and your PIN. And the PIN is mandatory because if you lose the key of if, or if someone stole your key, he or she cannot access your account unless they know the PIN. And you have only eight tentative for guessing the PIN. If you get the PIN wrong for eight times, all the credentials that are inside the key were deleted, were inaccessible. So uh, only eight tentative, it's uh, really a low number of tentative to guess your PIN. So if you don't use your birthday as a PIN, it is really safe to assume that even if you lost the key, an attacker cannot use to log into your account. But remember, if you lost the key, you should go to all your account where you registered this key as a FIDO2 device and you should remove the key. To remove a security key, it's really simple. You just go to your advanced security tab and you find the key. And it's important that you know which key you need to remove. And this is the reason why you should give a meaningful name to the key, you can place a um, sign on your key like a marker with a color and you can call the key red or blue. You can also buy at Ubico some sort of enclosure for the key that has a color, but it's important because it, you need to find your key and if you lost the key, you go to your account, you choose the right key and you press remove. And so you can remove that key from your account so that key cannot be used anymore to access your account. One thing you need to know when using your YubiKey to use at maximum potential is knowing a little bit about this command line utility. So I am in Windows in a C program file, Yubico YubiKey Manager. It's the standard place where YubiKey um, has its software installed, okay? So you can use um, a tool in this directory, a command line tool that allow you to um, use all the feature of your key, even some features that are not present in the come in, in the guy, in the graphical user utility. The utility is called, yeah, it's called ekman.exe. You have various options, but ekman.exe is the tool. So you have a lot of commands. It is really, really simple to use. And as an example, you can use OAuth and OAuth is the part used to store um, your seed for your Yubico Authenticator. As you can see, you have accounts, command, and the, each time you uh, go deeper on the command, it can allow you to have all the list of sub commands. So I can have keyman exe OAuth accounts list. So I can list all my account. Now, since I've protected my Yubico Authenticator from with the password, I have to type the password. It's not the pin of the FIDO2, so you need to keep track of different pin. So this is the password for the OAuth part, the one you use with your cell phone, with your Yubico Authenticator. I type the pin and it, it is telling me that I have one, um, one uh, mm, seed for YubiKey test demo at outlook.com. So you can see how many um, accounts you have, how many seeds you have for your Yubico Authenticator directly for command line and you can um, delete an account, you can um, generate code, you can add a new account manually, and it's, it's um, you have all of your option, all the option you can uh, think for managing, and most of th these options are available in your cell phone with the Yubico Authenticator, so it's probably not so useful to use in command line, but for the FIDO part, it's much more interesting. To run the utility for the FIDO2 part, you need to open the terminal as administrator, but you can ekman.exe and you can, so you can type FIDO and these are the command to manage the FIDO application. As an example, the, the most simple command is credentials list. Credential list, uh, ask for my pin, I'm entering my pin and I have my login.microsoft.com. So I can uh, list all of the sites where I have a passwordless login with Fido. Uh, you can uh, also type info, oh, sorry, info. And the only info it, it's asking me is, is the pin is set and you have eight attempts remaining. So as an example, if I do the Ikiman Fido credential list and I type an incorrect pin, 
Okay, now it tells me that the pin is incorrect, wrong pin, and uh, I, I'm simply, um, I, I was kicked out. And so I can, uh, so type the FIDO info and the pin is set with seven attempts remaining. So if you type incorrectly your key, your pin for a time, the credential were lost. So you need to be, uh, you, you need to use the pin and, and store the pin with great care. And now, as you can see, I have six attempts remaining. Um, now I'm gonna type the right pin. And if I'm doing the info, I have eight attempts remaining. So remember, you cannot uh, type more than seven times. So at the eighth tentative, you type the wrong pin, all the credential of the FIDO2 part are unrecoverable. And so you need to reset the pin, reset all your credential and re-register your key with your um, accounts. So please write down your pin and do not forget. And if you see that you are uh, you, you have forget and you are typing too much wrong pin, uh, do not reach the eight tentative. Just um, wait a little bit and um, find, save your pin into some password manager somewhere and try to uh, be sure to uh, type the right pin, not to delete all the credential you have inside the key. And that's um, almost all for a basic usage of key as a FIDO2 device. And as you can see, you can use your key to log into your Microsoft account without even the need of typing username and password. The key is your credential. You only need the key and remembering the PIN. So it is a very, very convenient way to access all of your important account where you want high protection and you access them frequently and so you can um, access only with with your touch on your key um, without uh, using username and password so you can use a really super strong password inside a password manager and you can really forget the password just plug in the key into usb or touch your key into an nfc enabled device and you can log into your account without any problem i hope you like the video and I'll try to post a new video as soon as I have time exploring more and more options you have with your YubiKey for your personal security.